Let's run through Cronley's area real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna use this footage. I just wanna... I just wanna give it a... Like, I got those new gloves on, and I wanna give them a try. It's like the beam is gonna be cast a little slower, and it's gonna turn slower, and it's gonna do its damage procs a little slower, but... Hopefully, that won't be too much of an issue, because the beam will, in theory, be stronger. Because plus two to fire, flame touched, and temper. Should give me some, uh, some just raw damage output. Though I may be switching back. <laughs> it also means less energy drain, so it would match with the trench coat a bit more. You know, it's also more fire damage, which really helps with the bomb. I know it's just Kron, these guys, and they're still nothing, like, super difficult, even at level 50. But, uh... Again, I actually like having an axe that I can use. It's more than just a DPS stick in my hands. Because some games that shall remain nameless... <clears throat> yeah, level 3. Uh, your weapon tends to just end up being a DPS stick in your hand. I mean, I'm not... Obviously, I'm not going to be a melee guy with this character, but still, it's nice to be able to, like, to be able to kill someone. That sounds really wrong. In the context of a game, it's, it's nice to actually be kind of a magey character and, and have the ability to smack someone with an axe. Or sword, or whatever weapon you're using. I just happen to be using the Immaterial Edge. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, that's not any damage to him. Hmm, I never knew he did stun jacks. Yeah, I definitely say we'll keep this going for now. I mostly have Soul Flare on my off weapon, on my second weapon slot, because it's it's just a cool a cool pistol. And it'd seem in flavor to just have that on like my character would have that on his belt. Yep, checking for the loot spots that are sometimes random. I guess saying sometimes random, it would just be best to just say random. The advantage of having plus two to temper is I don't immediately die when things touch me. It's also like I finally, finally had to take an energy, energy potion.
my did I get like stunned in the middle of my beam and just kept the animation going but the beam wasn't going hello oh it's flashbang I got all excited for nothing It is sort of a dream, kind of small dream, to actually have those shoulders on. Or, or the cat. Wait, that's the cask. Where's the. Sh Didn't I pick up a green cask? Or green shoulders? Um. No, what's the cask? Oh, I had... I I had the mouse over that. Yeah. Get away. It is kind of a dream to have the cask and the... Uh, 52, jeez. Yeah, have a cask and have the... Uh, ascended shoulders from this area. So I can be just... Aethered. Completely aethered. Head to toe. Suck, Cronley. <laughs> he's one of those guys. He's one of those bosses that, like, the first time you fight him when you're lower leveled, he's ridiculously hard because he will just fill this room with ads because you can't kill him. Can't kill him quickly. At high level, when you can kill him quicker, it's like, it's like the only thing difficult about him is that stupid shield that doesn't immediately let you kill him. Nope. Oh, the food ration's down there. <laughs> I guess it did hit him. Huh. I'll take it. Was that like two guys standing on top of each other? Yeah, this is my route for doing Cronley farming to get the, the Cronley reputation up. I hadn't been able to do it for, you know, a short while because of the level difference. Because they it's going to be in the final game. These guys are going to cap at, like, level 30-something. Just like they were. And specific, specifically for early release, they're making them level 50. So people can still earn reputation off them. I, I'm nowhere near getting Cronley. Well, I shouldn't say nowhere near. I'm, I'm in hated, but I still have. I'm about halfway through the entire bar, so it's gonna be a, probably another, another couple weeks before I work on getting Cronley's uh, Nemesis spawn going. I'll probably have the Chathonic one before the end of the week. And Cronley's is going to be next week, it looks like. Oops. <laughs> Wrong bomb! I will say, farming uh, Cronley's guys in this area is actually good for your scrap and dynamite. 
Because you get you get things like Moneybags Martin, who's guaranteed to give you scrap and dynamite. And then there's guaranteed dynamite in here. That was probably pointless. <laughs> And I will note that the above ground areas of Four Hills, the Cronley guys are not, in fact, level 50. So it's only worth it to really come through um, his hideout and then the Hapney Mines. It's also not terrible if you're running Blast Shield to be in here because lots and lots of fire happens. Sometimes almost deaths happen. There's some bristly fur. I mentioned I needed that, didn't I? Okay, so that's uh that's Cronley's Cronley's gang farming just to try out these new gloves I got these big obsidian bits I got now pretty cool it's fun having these these both at six okay so thanks for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.